Double demon Blame your fate. You're gonna regret this. Demon <laughs> 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 Hurricane. <laughs> Not much of a specimen. No way! Take Tempest! I beg of ready to be ready. Oh, overall ready. Leave it 
gonna be a piece of cake. No way! I beg of you, you feel that 
Was that a bit too much? This is gonna be a piece of cake. No way! No way! Be ready! Ray! Oh, over already. Professor Sage, it's Colette's angel toxicosis. I see. Let's rest here for today. <sighs> What's wrong, Colette? I would assume she's lost her voice. What? Everyone, I have something to say. Huh? I want to explain to everyone why I was trying to assassinate the Chosen. All right, we're listening. Tell us about your homeland. A land that doesn't exist in this world. You knew? No, but you said it yourself that Silveront will be saved. That must mean you aren't from Silveront. Yeah. You know, it's really a shame that your intellect's being wasted here. You're right. 
My homeland is not here. Not in Silveron. What does that mean? My world is called Tetheala. Tetheala? You mean the moon? <laughs> of course not. My world isn't on the moon. Even I really don't understand the specifics. But there's another world that lies entwined with Silverant. As shadow is to light. That's Tetheala. My world. Two entwined worlds? The two worlds lie directly adjacent to each other. They just can't see one another. Our scholars say they exist on shifted dimensions. Anyway, the two worlds can't see or touch each other, but they do in fact exist next to and affect each other. What do you mean, affect each other? They vie for the supply of mana. When one world weakens, the mana from that world flows to the other. As a result, one world is always flourishing, and the other waning. Sort of like an hourglass. Wait, so right now Silverond is... Yeah. Silverond's mana is flowing to Tetheala. Therefore, Silverond is in decline. Without mana, crops won't grow and magic becomes unusable. If there's no mana, the summoned spirits that protect the world alongside the goddess Martel can't survive in Silverond either. As a result, the world slips even further down the path of destruction. Then the Chosen's world regeneration is actually the process of reversing the mana flow? Exactly. When the Chosen breaks the seal, the mana flow reverses and the summoned spirit that governs the seal awakens. I was sent to prevent the world regeneration from happening. I broke through the supposedly impassable dimensional fissure for the sake of protecting Tetheala. In other words, to assure the decline and destruction of Silveron? You can say that, but your journey of regeneration is also an attempt to destroy Tetheala. We're both doing the same thing. It's hard for me to believe all of this. I'm the proof. I possess summoning arts that have been lost from this world. Uh, please don't look at me like that, Colette. I know that wasn't your intention. I don't know what I should do either. I came here to protect Tetheala, but this world is impoverished and everyone is suffering. But if I allow the world regeneration to occur, then Tetheala will become just like this. But right now you're helping us, right? Yes, but that doesn't mean I can just abandon Tetheala. I, I don't know what to do. Isn't there any other way? A way for Silveront, Tetheala, and Colette to all be happy? I want to know, too. Have you considered that perhaps nothing that convenient exists in the real world? The first thing we can do right now is to save Silveront from its current crisis. But what if we don't regenerate the world and just defeat the Desaiyans? Although we succeeded in destroying a ranch, we cannot possibly eliminate all the Desaiyans. And the mana will eventually be exhausted. Is mana really that important? I suppose only magic users and scholars worry about it. But mana is even more important to life than water. Without it, the land will die. Mana is the source material which composes everything. At least that's what I've been taught. Unfortunately, the giant tree of ever-flowing mana in fairy tales doesn't exist in the real world. We live by chipping away at the limited amount of available mana. Why do you think the ancient Magi technology was lost? Because mana disappeared from the world. Correct. Magi technology consumes large amounts of mana. If things continue the way they are now, Silverant will eventually lose its mana, just as it lost its Magi technology and be destroyed. Colette? R. E. M. I? Ah! You're trying to spell something, right? I'll try asking Remiel if there's a way to save the two worlds. If it doesn't work out, I may have to kill you after all. Sheena! When that time comes, I 
may fight back because I love Silverant too. I understand. You intend to become an angel no matter what, don't you? You're in for a world of hurt. No way! Give me a
We're finally down to the last seal. Let's split up for tonight. But don't go outside the village, understood? Yup. Got it. We'll be leaving in the morning. Good night, everyone. Sleep well. You want to thank me? Don't worry about it. Despite knowing what your future holds, this is all I can do for you. Tomorrow, Silverant will be saved. What are you gonna do? Good question. The only thing I can do is believe in the Chosen. The Chosen from this side seems to be trustworthy, you know? What's that mean? Is there a Chosen you can't trust? Tetheala is chosen. I can't stand that guy. I see. Tetheala has a chosen too. Two worlds, two chosen. If there really is a goddess, why did she make a world like this? Yeah, no kidding. I want to kick her for doing this. <laughs> Seriously? I wish I could do that myself. Well, aren't I going to see the others? Yeah, I should go talk. Go see Colette. This is her last night. Last night? It's her last night as a human. Professor, you're a scholar, right? Can't we do anything? Don't you understand yet? You're not too bright. It's because I'm a scholar that I'm fascinated by Colette as she continues to transform into an angel. You can't be serious, Professor. You think so? Now go to her. The Tower of Salvation is so close now. We've come quite a long way. Yeah. It's at a time like this that I stop and think how stupid I've been. Why? Because I don't even know if the way things have turned out is good or bad. No one knows that. The ones who think they do are the stupid ones. You think so? Definitely. I guess you're right. You say some cool things every now and then. Thanks. Your journey is finally coming to an end. This isn't the end I hoped for. Really? It's the journey you started by clinging to the Chosen. This was to be expected. Clinging to the Chosen? Don't you remember? It was you who said we have the Chosen on our side. The Savior who will regenerate the world. Yeah, that's right. I said that. And that's why I have to protect her. If relying and depending on the power of the Chosen at the most crucial times, what it means to protect her, then the meaning of the word protect must have changed significantly from my understanding. And now, the Chosen is trying to resolve everything by sacrificing herself. What are you trying to say? Lloyd, don't make a mistake. I don't quite get it, but I got it. But hey, if I make a mistake, can't I just do it over again? <laughs> do it over. If it's something you can do over again, then feel free. Going to see the others? No, it's okay. Let's talk for a bit. You can write. The world regeneration. It's almost time. I'm sorry? Why are you apologizing? This is the end, and yet I can't even speak. I know that's weird. You dork, that doesn't matter. No matter what happens to you, you're still you. Even if you become an angel, even if you become like marble, I won't ever think you're weird, ever. Anyway, I'm the one that has to apologize. 
Even though I promised I'd make you that gift before our journey ended, I kept thinking we still had a ways to go. I never even got close to finishing it. I'll wait forever. Even after I become an angel, I'll keep on waiting. You can give it to me anytime. Okay, this time I'm really going to make it, no matter how long it takes. Can I ask you one last thing? Are you sure you won't regret this? Are you sure you want to become an angel? The truth is, I'm a little scared. Yeah, I would be too. But if giving up my life as a human means that Silverant will be reborn, then it's almost like my life is spreading out to fill the entire world. When I think about it like that, I'm okay. You're strong, Colette. <sighs> the wind's pretty cold. Let's go back to the inn. Ah, uh, sorry. That's right, you can't feel it. Anything we can do? That was Kratos, wasn't it? Where's he going? to continue watching over Lloyd for me. <laughs> I have things I must do. In my place, I need you to... Kratos, look out! Uh! Stop! Kratos, are you okay? Lloyd? Thank you. Uh, I was nothing. But who was that? I would imagine it's that assassin. He managed to get away, but I gave him an injury he'll not soon forget. I have a feeling I've seen him somewhere before. Yes, perhaps. Let's get back to the inn. Everyone's probably up. Yeah. Lloyd. Hmm? Don't die. What? Yeah. Okay. What's up all of a sudden? Don't worry about it. How can he tell me not to worry after saying something like that? What's this? There's some strange letters carved into it.
Where are Colette and the others? Looks like they've gone in already. Let's hurry up. final seal. In doing so, you will complete the final sacrifice of your human existence, your heart, and your memory. By doing so of your own free will, you will become a true angel. What? Sacrifice her heart and memory? Colette's going to forget about us? Colette's human life will now end, and she will be reborn as an angel. Mr. Sage, what is he talking about? Lloyd, I'm sorry. I promised Colette I wouldn't say anything. Colette will give up her life in order to regenerate the world. Becoming an angel means dying. That's not quite correct. The Chosen's heart will die, and her body will be offered to the goddess Martell. By offering her body, Colette will revive the goddess. This is the true nature of the world regeneration. The revival of the goddess Martell is the revival of the world itself. That... that's... Lord Remiel, we have heard that a world known as Tefeala lies parallel to Silverant. That is not for you to know. You kept it a secret because it is true, correct? From whom did you learn of it? Can't Crucius make both worlds peaceful? If that is what the Chosen desires, she can lend her power to Crucius by becoming an angel. Once the goddess Martell is revived by the Chosen, the two worlds will surely achieve peace, just as the Chosen wishes. <gasps> is that true, you ask? You know why you have come here. You can't! Colette, stop! If you sacrifice yourself, your friends who love you, and your family, and, and me, we'll all be sad. It'll be the same as sacrificing all of us. <gasps> Genus, let me go! I don't want anything to happen to her either. But what else are we supposed to do? The people of Silverun are suffering too! But... The sacrifice of one single person, the Chosen, will save the world. Are you saying that you would choose the Chosen Soul over the entire world? Now, Colette, come join your father. Is there really no other way? Colette's your daughter! Surely you don't really want her to die either! My daughter? Don't make me laugh. When I came down to play the role of Guardian Angel, you inferior beings just started calling me her father on your own. Wha what? I merely placed the Crucius Crystal upon this sacrifice, who was selected to become Martell's vessel.
Lloyd, every time I met Remuel, I felt that he was not my real father. But still, for some reason, I still feel like I want to cry. Colette, if you realize what was going on, then why... You can hear my voice? I'm so happy! I'll be able to say goodbye to you in the end. Colette, I'm sorry. I couldn't save you. I'm so I promised I wouldn't make another mistake. But it looks like I have again. No. Thank you, Lloyd. Because of you, I was able to find the courage to protect the world. Because of you, I was able to find the strength to live these 16 years to the fullest. So please... What? It looks like... it's time. Goodbye. <laughs> I've done it. It's finally complete. Martel's vessel is finally complete. With this, I shall become one of the four Seraphim. Wait just a minute. What are you going to do with Colette? He's going to take her to heaven. Bastard. You pay for this. Crucius, the angels, the goddess Martel. It's all a big lie, isn't it? Let her go! Now that I cannot do. For she is Martel's vessel. This is Martel's new body, which took years to complete. I have no more use for any of you. Be gone! I have no further need of you. Be gone! Punishment! Photon! <laughs> 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 Are you okay? Punishment! Photon! Come back to us! I'm going to restore you back to your normal self, I promise! Colette, have you really forgotten me? You're wasting your time. Not only did she lose her memory, but she has lost the soul to listen to your words. Now Colette is merely a puppet standing before death's door. Kratos! Where have you been? What are you saying? The Chosen desired the regeneration of the world and chose this path herself. By the summoning of the Chosen to Daris Carlon, the seal will be broken and the regeneration will be complete. Kratos, what are you talking about? It is what you wanted as well. We will take the Chosen as the new body for Martel. What are you talking about? Kratos, answer me! Lord Kratos, have pity on me. Please. Lend me your aid. Have you forgotten, Remio? I was once of the inferior race, a human. Does the ultimate being seek help from that which he despises the most? <coughs> Move out of the way. Kratos, who are you? I am of Crucius, the organization that guides this world. I am one of the four Seraphim, 
sent forth to keep close watch over the Chosen. Kratos is an angel too? You deceived us! Deceived? If the Chosen merges with Martell, she will awaken and the world will be saved. Is that not what you wanted? Once her body is taken by the goddess Martell, Colette will truly die. No. She will be reborn as Martell. Damn it! You think I'm gonna let you do that? Colette is our friend! You earnestly believe you can defeat me? No way! Fierce demon fight spear! Fierce demon fang! 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 Time to finish this! I guess not even you could bring yourself to fight against such an opponent. Lord Yggdrasil. Who's that? Another angel? Are you Lloyd? Give me your name and I'll give you mine. <laughs> People need not introduce themselves to a dog. What did you say? Fine. I shall tell you my name, wretched human. I am Eudrasil, leader of Crucius and the Desions. I'll show you the meaning of true power. Perish! <laughs> Help is on the way! Nurse! Perish! Kratos, I trust you have no objections. <sighs> Farewell. Damn! The Chosen has already become an angel. We have no choice. We're taking her back with us alive.
Renegades, as irritating as ever. Still, it is of little consequence. Kratos, let us leave. As you wish. Hmm. Saved by the Renegades. Don't die, Lloyd. Lloyd, you're finally awake! Uh, where are we? Where's Colette? She doesn't respond to anything we say. Damn it! Lloyd, do you remember this place? We're in Triet Desert. Remember? This is the base where you were captured before. The Desion base? These guys aren't Desions. What? What do you mean? So many things happened at once. I'm con then why don't we go over everything we know about the situation as it stands now? First, our current situation. When we were about to be killed in the Tower of Salvation, we were rescued by the organization on this base that resembles the Desions. They call themselves the Renegades. Uh, so what you're saying is that the people here are called Renegades and not Desions? Okay, I really don't get it, but go on. It seems that the Renegades oppose the Desions. They probably have a reason for intentionally trying to look like Desions. All right, I think I get it now. We were saved by an organization called the Renegades that looks a lot like the Desions. So then who was that angel guy, you Drassil or whatever? And what about Kratos? Do you remember you Drassil's words? This is just pure conjecture, but Crucius, holy beings worshipped by the Church of Martell, and the Desions may in fact be the same organization. Whoa, wait, what? How could that be possible? Lloyd, hear me out. If we think of the Desions as a part of Crucius, or perhaps their pawns, everything makes sense. I remember one of the Desion Five Grand Cardinals said that their boss was Eugdrasio. And Eugdrasio said that he was the leader of Crucius and the Desions when he appeared before us. If the Desions and Crucius are the same, well then what about Kratos? He obeyed Eugdrasio's orders. That means... That's right. He's our enemy. He deceived us. He admitted it himself. He's one of Crucius's four seraphim. Kratos is likely a subordinate of Eugdrasio. He probably joined us to make sure Colette didn't stray from the journey to regenerate the world. So we were deceived from the very beginning. By Remiel, the Crucius, even Kratos! Ah, you're awake. Then please, come with me to the next room. Our leader awaits you. You're finally awake. Are you the Renegades? Correct. We're an underground resistance dedicated to fighting the Desions. Or rather, the Crucius. So Crucius and the Desions really are the same organization? Correct. Crucius controls the Church of Martel in the open, and operates the Desions from behind the scenes. The Desions are a subordinate organization within Crucius. The Church of Martel is nothing more than an instrument created by Crucius to rule the world. Those who call themselves angels are half-elves who have evolved by using a special type of X-Sphere called Crucius Crystals. They aren't gods or anything of the sort. Of course, the Church of Martell and the Chosen know nothing about that. They're half-elves too? Yes. Some of the Desions, as well as Crucius and ourselves, are half-elves. What is Crucius trying to do? Are they doing all of this just to rule the world? Do you intend to have us explain everything? How about using your own head a little? Do they wish to revive the goddess Martell? They send oracles to those of the Mana lineage and control their marriages to create Chosens who become the vessel. It seems meaninglessly drawn out and complicated. Well, well. I'm 
There is another world beyond Silverant that competes for mana. Tateoa. Yes. The one who created this twisted world was Crucius's leader, Yggdrasil. Create a world? That's ridiculous. No one can do that. If that's what you believe, then our conversation ends here. Wait. If Yggdrasil was the one that created the two worlds himself, what can you possibly hope to do against someone like that? And that's not all. You tried to kill Colette and me. You're certainly not on our side. And yet, for some reason, you saved us. Why? You're not as stupid as you seem. Excuse me? Our goal is to stop Martel's revival. Therefore, the Chosen, who would become her vessel, was an obstacle. Unfortunately, the Chosen completed the Angel transformation. The Chosen is now a lethal weapon whose only goal is self-preservation. We wouldn't dare lay a hand on her. But now we have the key to stop Martel's resurrection. We no longer need the Chosen. What? What we need is you, Lloyd Irving. Me? What's so special about me? That's none of your concern. Get him! Lord Ewan! No! It's his wound from Hyma. Kratos! How many times must you get in my way? Wound from Hyma? Are you telling me the one who attacked Kratos was... Lloyd! What are you doing? This is gonna be a piece of cake! That's it! How's this getting started?
Damn it. What's so special about me? Those renegades need to hurry up and make up their freaking minds about whether they're our enemies or not. Lloyd, what are we going to do now? We've got to save Colette somehow. She's going to die if she's made into Martell's vessel. But what can we do? Sheena, where did you get your X-Sphere? Huh? Well, that came out of nowhere. I got this before I came here. They attached it to me at the Imperial Research Academy. Is it normal for people to equip X-Spheres in Teveala? No, not at all. The technology was originally brought over by the Renegades. Nowadays, X-Spheres are mainly attached to machines. Wait a second. So Teveala and the Renegades are on the same side? I'm not sure if you could say that. But the Renegades were the ones that brought us information about the nature of the two worlds. And the plan to assassinate the Chosen was their idea. They talked the King and the Pope into it. If you desire for Tetheala to prosper, kill the Chosen of Silveront. That's horrible! Lloyd, I suggest we go to Tetheala. Why Tetheala? Don't you remember what Ewan said? Angels are half-elves that evolved using special X-spheres called Crucius Crystals. Oh, I get it. Colette's current condition is caused by the Crucius Crystal. Since Tetheala is studying the X-spheres, they may know something about Crucius Crystals as well. That's a good idea. I'm pretty sure that they're studying the Crucius Crystal that belongs to Tetheala's Chosen at the Imperial Research Academy. There's a Chosen in Tetheala too? Of course. The World Regeneration Ritual is carried out in Tetheala as well. The Church of Martell exists too. But if they've been carrying out the regeneration that many times, why hasn't Martell's vessel been completed already? I'm curious about that myself. Perhaps those corpses lined up in the Tower of Salvation were... No, never mind. Yeah, there are too many things that we don't know. Crucius's objective, the Renegades, the method to save Colette. So let's just start with what we can do now. So, we're going to Tetheala? Yeah, that's the only lead we have right now. And this time, I'm going to fulfill my role. I'm not going to let Colette bear the burden all by herself anymore. Wait a minute. That's great and all, but how are we going to get to Tepeala? I'm sure Sheena knows how to get there, correct? My understanding is that you can travel to Tepeala by passing through a distortion in space. As far as I know, crafts called Riyards are the only things that can do that. Where are they? The Renegades should have them. They should be somewhere on this base. Okay, then. Let's get going. <laughs>